Hey guys, this is Sandeep from Rev Atlas and welcome back to yet another video. In this, we'll be showing you a tutorial on how to get an awesome clear looking back panel on the POCO X2 like this one. Now before we get started, please do make sure to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications to avoid missing any such videos. And also do make sure that you participate in our POCO X2 giveaway and you can check the link in description or check the pinned comment in order to know how to register for yourself as well. Now let's get this video started. Now before we get started, I'd like to make it clear that the removal of the back panel yourself will void the warranty and hence do it only fully knowing what the risks are and the results of your actions. The first step is to use the heat gun or hair dryer and apply heat to the edges and the overall back of the device. Please note that it is advisable to apply heat in a pattern and keep moving it in order to prevent overheating of any particular portion or causing damage to a part. Also do keep in mind that the device itself may heat up quite a bit and hence you should be careful when holding or picking up the device. Gloves are advisable and will begin to open from the bottom, so concentrate your efforts here. Once you have applied sufficient heat, you will be able to use the suction cup and create enough gap on the device to slide in a pry tool. If it isn't opening enough, you may have to reheat the edges again in order to get the gap. Once done, you need to run the pry tool along the edges to release the glue and slowly raise it upward bit by bit as you run along and if at any point you require more heat, do apply it and repeat. Don't be too harsh when applying force as it is glass and glass will crack and this is especially true considering that this, the POCO X2 has curved edges on the glass. Once you've done it all around, you'll be able to get the back panel off and in this case, there is no fingerprint scanner on the back so it's pretty easy to remove the entire panel off. Now we can proceed with the process of clearing the back panel. Different devices have different backs in terms of how the paint finish and coating is done and in the case of the POCO X2, there are several different layers but we need to remove all of them in order to get the clear back effect. You need to scrape off the initial bits and then dig deeper to get the bottom clear layer which can then be peeled off and it takes some time and patience but at the end, the effort is clearly worth it, pun intended. Be careful not to scrape off the POCO X2 and other logos if you, as once the rest of the layer has been scraped off, it is easy to accidentally scrape this off as well and you should be careful to clean the areas around it to prevent doing so. Since it is Gorilla Glass, it won't get scratched with your blade, so the entire glass looks clean at the end. At the end, you'll have a clear panel and we recommend running it under a tap quickly to get rid of any residue and drying it before proceeding. Once done, we can move our efforts on to making the battery better. Now this here is an optional step and in case you don't want to do any changes, you can skip these few steps. What we are going to do is remove all the screws from the top panel that is covering the battery connector, then remove the battery connecting cable. Then the next step involves applying a skin to the battery. We went with the camo skin but you can basically use any color and in the past you may have seen us using yellow and red color skins but in this we thought we'll go for a more stealthy look by applying the camouflage skin. Instead of removing the entire battery and risking damaging it, we are using a portion of the skin and then cutting along the gap to get a perfect fit. Once you're done with the skin application, you need to reconnect the battery cable and put back the protector and screws. Now is a good time to actually power on the device and see if it's actually working before putting the back panel on. Lastly, you need to put double sided tape along the edges, realign the fingerprint scanner to the clear back and press to fit. Make sure the edges sit well and keep applying some pressure for a few minutes. Your clear mod POCO X2 is done. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below and also make sure to take part in our POCO X2 giveaway by following the link in the description below and also in the comment section. Now don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching this video. See you again in the next one.